And this one pivotal question that I ask these people, uh, and then from there, if they don't know the answer, explain a couple different ways to take care of this has been an absolutely tremendous help for me over the last couple of years, sell hundreds of final expense policies. Hey guys, Hayden Hill coming to you guys live today and I want to share with you a few tips that help me uh, up my closing percentage and up my persistency, my quality uh, with final expense prospects. And so um, the, these type of appointments are going to range from anyone between the ages of about 50 to 90. And this one pivotal question that I ask these people uh, and then from there, if they don't know the answer, explain a couple different ways to take care of this has been an absolutely tremendous help for me over the last couple of years, sell hundreds of final expense policies. And so for me, I'm gonna start that appointment with basically verifying the information uh, and finding their why. Why did they request this coverage? Was it to make sure their kids aren't coming out of pocket, to make sure um, you know, there's gonna be a little bit money left over to their grandkids, to make sure their spouses aren't gonna be hurting when something happens. I just wanna find out why they requested it. After that, I'm gonna go into basically who I am, what I do and how this process works. So. I'm gonna explain to them that I'm a broker. Basically, once I find out kind of what we're looking at medical wise, if they're healthy or unhealthy, I'm gonna shop around with my companies and find them the very best product and the very best carrier for their situation. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna put an application. Now, before I go into medical questions, I'm gonna ask this one question that you guys can use to really help yourself close and have better quality with these clients. And the one simple question I ask them uh, after I ask them if they're looking for, you know, cremation or burial coverage is John and Mary, are you guys familiar with the three ways on how to take care of final expenses? Now, most ple people are going to say no. Some folks will say yes or kind of. And either way, I'm still going to explain it. And so what I say from there is, hey, no problem, John and Mary. Most people don't. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm calling you. Uh, the three reasons basically look like this or the three ways look like this. The first way would be if you do nothing today. So we do nothing, we get no coverage in place, and the first way is gonna be paying for this stuff uh, cash out of pocket. So what that looks like, if you do nothing, you know, your kids are gonna be paying 10, 15, 20, 30 plus thousand dollars to pay for your funeral and final expenses. That's probably the worst way to take care of this. Now the second way, while it's better than the first way, still not you know, the total best option for you is gonna be something called a prepaid burial. Now, what this looks like, John and Mary, is you guys would go find a local funeral home in your area. So if local funeral home, let's say here in Phoenix, you would go down there, you would pick out your casket, you would pick out your tombstone, you would pick out all the stuff that you want. Uh, and then from there, you're basically, and they're going to come up with a monthly cost. Typically with these programs, they are very expensive. And some things to look out for with these programs is one, it's not immediate coverage. What I mean by that is, John and Mary, if you guys are paying $200 a month for a prepaid burial, and let's say the coverage uh, is $20,000 for when you pass away. Well, if anything happens before you guys have paid in the $20,000 and, and really fulfilled your whole uh, duty to pay off the program, your beneficiaries are only gonna get you know whatever you paid into the program. They're not gonna get the full 20,000. So that's one thing. Second thing, like we said, it's very expensive. Uh, the third thing is, I don't know about you guys, but most people when they retire or, you know, during retirement, they want to travel, they want to move. And so the problem is if you guys moved out of Arizona and you guys were living, you know, across the country in different country, wherever it was, that funeral home where you have your plan here in Phoenix, Arizona, isn't really going to do you that much good. And if it does, you still got to ship the body back and it's going to be very expensive and then the last reason is, guys, you know, when COVID happened and things happen in the world, sometimes businesses can shut down. We saw a lot of funeral homes shut down over the last couple of years. And if that were to happen, they would simply just end your program and return you or your beneficiaries the premiums you paid into the plan. So that's the second way. The third way uh, is why I'm here. It's the best way uh, if you can qualify and if you're healthy enough. And what that looks like, it's a funeral and final expense plan. Now, with this, John and Mary, if you guys qualify, you would have immediate coverage. So it's going to be you know, pretty affordable. These programs are based for seniors just like you guys. And the way that it works if you qualify is 
if you're paying hundred dollars a month in premium, let's say for twenty thousand dollars of coverage, well, with this program, if something happens to you tomorrow, if you've paid one premium, you're going to be able to potentially get that twenty thousand dollar payout with just paying one. You don't have to wait the whole time to you paying the twenty thousand dollars. You're going to have immediate coverage as active from day one. The second thing is a lot of these policies come with terminal illness riders and built-in accidental death benefits. What that means, John and Mary, is if you guys were come to come down with something like terminal cancer, uh, terminal brain disease, something of that nature, you can have up to half of that death benefit pay out early while you're still living. They can help with medical expenses, bills, anything like that. The third thing is you actually you guys are actually going to build some cash value, some interest uh, through the policy. And then one of the things that people like you guys like the most about this program is it can be used anywhere. So when something happens tomorrow, let's say to you, John and Mary, you get that check for $20,000, you can go anywhere in the country. You can take care of it anywhere you want. You're not just locked in, uh, to one, you know, funeral home per se. And then the last thing is all the companies that I represent, you've probably heard of all of them, if not most of them, they're all, you know, ANA plus rated carriers that have been around for, you know, decades and hundreds and hundreds of years. What that means is they're going nowhere. You don't have to worry about them going out of business and just refunding your premiums. That plan's gonna be there uh, when you pass away to pay out to your family. So those are the three ways, guys, to explain that to the client. Hope this helps, and we'll see you in the next video.